Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen, and today we are turning our attention to Dart, uh, tackling the palindrome number problem. The task determines whether a given integer is a palindrome, which means it's uh, the same read from both directions. So let's kick things uh, off with the provided is palindrome a function which takes uh, an integer uh, x and implement our solution. So first, if x less than zero, return false because it's negative and var will be reversed. Zero var number will be x and while number not zero, reverse will be reverse times 10 plus number modulo 10 and number will be divided by 10 without remainder and return reversed equals to x. So uh, that's it. Uh, yeah, hopefully uh, it will work. So let's test it. And I will explain what we are dealing with. Uh, yeah, so number 121 is palindrome and negative number 121 is not palindrome. And same with 10 because it read uh, 10 and from other side 0, 1. So in our uh, solution, first we address the case of negative number due to a leading negative sign and uh, they cannot be palindrome. So we instantly return false. And then we check for positive numbers and we will uh, derive a reverse version of the input number and verify if it matches the original one. So the beauty here is we are doing this without converting the integer into a string and we initiate uh, the reverse number as uh, zero where we store our reverse number. So next we establish a while loop in which we grab the last digit of uh, x and what we do is reverse times 10 and uh, grab number uh, last digit by using a modulo operator. And finally, we decrease a uh, number or uh, x by uh, 10. So uh, finally, we do our final step. So return whether reverse uh, equal the original number or not. And uh, this gives us a palindrome a verdict. Otherwise, uh, if it's not equal, it's not a palindrome. So let's run it for unsynthesized cases to confirm it work as expected. So yes, it's work as expected and we beat 97% uh, in respect to memory and also 76% uh, with respect to uh, time. So it's very efficient. And please like and subscribe for more coding tutorials. Uh, and challenges. And as usual, keep practicing. Happy coding. See you next time.